The next item we will take a look at in our multiple form projects is to create a splash screen. A splash screen is often used as an attention getter to announce that the project is now starting. It can add a real nice level of professionalism to your projects and is very simple to include. Assuming you have your project with your multiple forms in place, to add a splash screen you simply click on project, add Windows form just like you would any other form, choose Windows form and you see one of the templates is a splash screen. As you note the splash screen has a default name of splash screen 1, which of course I could change but for this demonstration I will allow it to remain splash screen 1 and simply click the add button. As you can see in the Solution Explorer, Splash Screen 1 has now been added to the project. And you can see the actual Splash Screen before you. The nice thing about the Splash Screen is that a lot of the work has already been done for you. It, in essence, has been predefined for you. It already has a graphic and has some basic information included. All of this information, however, can be changed very simply. Most of it is simply a matter of changing labels. For example, where you see the words application title, this is simply a label that if you wish you could change to a different text. So I'll change application title to my super program. So this is going to announce now the name of my program, in this case my super program. So now you can see it. You also notice there are labels for version and copyright. And again, you can modify these in the text property of their respective labels, or if you simply want to do away with them all together, you can simply press the delete key and that will delete that label. Now be careful, as you'll see in a moment when I test run this program, that that will indeed cause a problem. Uh, I could also delete the version, but for the time being, I'll simply leave the version as it is. So let's just run the program before we go any further, and you'll see a couple of issues. First of all, you see there are build errors. So if I allow it to continue, it will now give me a debugging window, which the issue is, it says name copyright is not declared. You'll recall that there was a label with the copyright information that I deleted. If I double click on that, it takes me to the code window that is automatically associated with this splash screen. This is not code that I typed. This is code that automatically comes when you import a splash screen template into your project. And as you can see, there is a label that is specifying the label called copyright. And this is a way of getting the information from what's called the assembly information, which we'll explore momentarily. But since I deleted the label, I also need to either remove or at the very least comment out the code that references that label to avoid that runtime error that you saw momentarily. The other issue is that I need to specify that this is my splash screen and I want it to start first. So I'll click on Project and go to my properties window for my Windows application. As you can see there's an entry called startup form. By default form 1 is specified as my startup form. But if I click on the drop down box and choose splash screen 1, now my project should begin with this splash screen. You notice I have some other options that I could set here, but that will suffice for the moment. So let's go ahead and test our program. And now as you can see, the uh, splash screen does indeed show. You'll note the copyright information is removed just as we specified, but my new title is not showing up. So let's stop the program and return to this pre-written code. And what you'll see is there is a line of code referencing the application title. If I'm going to change that, I should comment these comments uh, code out so that they're not causing an error message. I prefer just commenting these out so that if I want to go back at a later time and use this line of code as opposed to simply changing the title or the labels text property, I have the code already there. So let's run this one more time and as you can see it now does indeed say my super program version 1.0 
and it has this graphic here. Now if this were a real organization or some business you might want to put your company logo or something here and of course you could do that very easily by simply going to the splash screen and clicking on that and all this is is a, uh, a, a graphic, an image. And if you go to the properties window for this and go to the background image property and click on the ellipsis button you'll see that the image, the default image is there and of course if I had another image I want to use in its place I could simply specify it by using the import button you see. But again for this demonstration we'll just leave it as it is. That says all you need to do to create a splash screen. That is to create the form or just use the template and the alternative is, however, for you to, instead of creating a splash screen, you could, of course, go to Project and Add to Windows Form, and then simply create a blank form. And now you have a blank canvas that you can now literally customize your own splash screen. I would strongly suggest to use the, the template simply because a lot of the work is already done, and it's done in a very professional way. Keep in mind the predefined code in the splash screen may be a bit more complicated than you need. It does include code that will fill in the application title, the version as we saw, and also the copyright information, the project's assembly information, version, and so forth. You can either set the assembly information or modify the labels to display the text that you want. Professional applications will use splash screens to tell the user that a program is loading and starting. It can make a large application to load and run faster since something appears on the screen while the rest of the application loads into memory. So this is a good technique to use when you have lots of forms to load and the user's eye is now being attracted and drawn to the splash screen while in the background the multiple forms are being loaded into memory. So by the time the splash screen is done entertaining the user, your project should now be up and running and ready to go. So experiment with the splash screen, modify it, you'll see that's very simple to use.